Hello everyone, welcome back. Come on, big head. Really? Get over here. All right, so welcome back. Uh, today we are going to talk about the parts that we're gonna put in this 2017 Gibson Gold Top Tribute. So, the previous video you guys watched me uh, dissect it, so now let's talk about what we're gonna put in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a plate there. There's some pickups. Grab a Tone Pro uh, input jack. We do have a pre-wired one in there. You guys have seen in my previous videos. I've been saving that for the Silver Burst one. Let's pick out some pots here. Go ahead and hang this up. All right, so we got pickups. Got an input jack. I've got a ton of pots here. So there is a Gibson 284. That's a 300K. This is the CTS, correct? Yes, that's a CTS 500K I got from Stratosphere. Another CTS 500K from Stratosphere. And another CTS 500K from Stratosphere. Should be one more, yep, right there. So there's that set from Stratosphere. We got as a kit, if you look at my previous video, we got the four pots and uh, the orange drops and I sent a three-way switch and basically everything to to build a guitar so let's keep moving on here these are more 300k so that one's at 284 that one's at 284 285 and 284 so we got some well-matched 300k's there it's the 500k's that are kind of all over the board so we have a a 504, 513, 532, and a 480. So that's pretty interesting. But um, I think I'm going to, if I'm going to use these DiMarzio Super Distortions and the Tone Pro Input Jack, I think I might go with the 500K. CTS pots and save the Gibson ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 300k set for volume and a 500k set for tone. Same with that. Make two sets and I'll use the Gibson ones when I use all Gibson uh, parts like the pickups and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and hang on to the other Gibson ones for now. And this is what we're going to put in the gold top. I may even switch to the Switchcraft input jack and save the higher end one for when I do Gibson part build. So there's the six-way switch that's going to go in the silver burst. Actually, that's the only thing that I can't wait for. I can't wait for that thing to be done because it's going to have so many different options uh, to it. Just want to make sure that they're all the same, and indeed they are. So we will need a switchcraft three-way switch. Back into the bag. 
I have uh, tons of containers to actually put all these parts, but I've been lazy and have yet to take the time to put them all in their little clear boxes and stuff. So I think I am gonna switch the input jacks. Just go with the Switchcraft one. And see if the Tribute didn't have the Clusens on it. I'd, I got a set of Grovers right here that I'd put in it, but I cannot stand having extra holes in the guitar. So I could use these on it which are a locking tuner from all parts of the Goto or Gato or however you want to say it. So we, we might put those on there. It's a good possibility. I could use them up. I've had those things for a long time. So we're going to go ahead and set this board up because all this is going to need soldered together. I got to pick out some pots, or uh, not pots, uh, capacitors here. Might as well do that right now. And we have a ton of them. We got down there more strip tuners. Forgot about those. And that is the Veritone. All right. So these are the orange drops that came with this kit from Stratosphere. And there's some other orange drops that I had purchased. There's two different brown drops in here and the vintage disc. I'm definitely going to save these for when I do a Gibson build, especially these navy drops and these blue drops too. These will, these are all high end caps. So I'm definitely going to save those for when I use all Gibson parts. Uh, but I do have a plethora of different tropical fish too. So I've been uh, kind of on the fence about what I'm going to use these in. So this could be a good opportunity to try out some of these tropical fish. I have, like I said, just a whole bunch of different ones. There's four different ones in that, and one in here, and one in here. If not, we'll just use these that came with it. I think those are 0.22, yeah, so. We have 0.047s. I know I got some 22s. Really hard to read that because I wrote on both sides. There's so many in here. And 0 0.68, 0 0.56. And what's this one? 0.1. Okay, so those are that's all that's in there. And then we have the 0.15s here. All right, so we're going to have to decide which one out of those. I'm just gonna stick these back up here. All right, so while I'm setting this up, I'll think about what we should put in there. If you guys have any suggestions, we have the 0.15s, uh, the 0 0.1, 0 0.047, 0 0.068, 0 0.056. So those are the different uh, values we have on the caps. So if uh, you guys have any suggestions, throw it in the comments. We'll definitely be using one of those there. And I may just go ahead and x nay the orange drops because everybody has those. Now on this channel, I'm always trying to do something different and that's why I'm doing the silver burst with the third pickup and the six-way switch and the Veritone. So we'll have five different 
five different caps to choose from, like uh, like this one right here. This is a six-way Veritone on it. So we're gonna do that to the cherry or the cherry burst. Yeah, that's another one that been around for a while, but the uh, the silver burst. Actually, before I put these on, I should have seen which way the plate lays in coordinates with the guitar because these are cut to the holes. Boy, I just don't think sometimes. Or I'm thinking of other things and uh, I get ahead of myself. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this now. So the next time I use it, I don't have any question. Where did I do it? Here it is. All right. So it's going to be volume, volume, tone, tone. And of course, that's the input jack. Try this again. I guess I'm going to have to do another video of soldering this all together because I'm sure that this one is getting into some minutes. Yeah, we're at 12 minutes now. It's not too bad. We got most of our parts picked out. We know what pickups we're going to use. Mario's or DiMarzio Mario. Yeah. DiMarzio Super Distortions and CTS 500K Pots. Switchcraft three-way switch. And I'm still thinking about which uh, which caps to use here. Do we go with the orange drops that everybody has? And I think no. So let's just get them out of my way before I decide to take those. So now we just got to pick out of these. 0.47. Point one, point zero six eight, point fifteen, point five, point zero one five is a good one too. I'm not too familiar with the four sevens or the five or six eights, five sixes. I know the point ones. That's what the the big orange disc are. The vintage ones. So I am familiar with them. Maybe I get uh, get one of each of them out and see how that they see how they do here because you have to solder them from one pot to another. So basically, I need to see if the legs on them are going to be super inconvenient or not to try to get them to reach from one pot to the other. I'm trying to make these all level too because when I solder the grounding wire onto them, I don't know if it matters or not, but 
just the way I'm gonna do it. So it's convenient this little plate I got I was looking they used to sell them on Stumac and they would either be the shape of a Telecaster or a Les Paul whatever kind of guitar that you were putting wires in or pots in I should say but this came off the Emerson set that I put in the cherry burst so I'm glad I hung on to it because now I know what to uh, how to set them up and I know it's not going to be off. So now they had this zip tied there to that hole, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to have to solder wire onto that and call it done. Let's go ahead and check out a couple of these caps here and see. This one's definitely got nice long legs on it. And this is the 0.15. So that will definitely work on there. And what do we got? Uh, brown, black, yellow, and white. Brown, black, yellow, white, red. That is the 0.1. And its legs are definitely long enough as well. I did see like on the the Emerson Bumblebee set that I put in it, it had a 0.47 and a 0.22. So we could do something where we put two different caps in there. So let's see the green, blue, green, blue, orange, white, red. That's the 0.56 and its legs are long enough as well. There's a couple over here that are very questionable. So then we got uh, blue, gray, red, green. Now this is gonna be a questionable one because see how short the legs are on that? It still work, but you gotta really stretch them. I think we'll hold off on using those. All right, so it's gonna be one of those and I think these 0.47s are going to have the same issue with the little short legs. Yeah. Little tiny, tiny legs. And it will definitely work too. Just got to stretch them out a little bit. These are the 0.47s. So. Hmm. Not sure, on the fence still. So if you guys have uh, any suggestions on uh, what value cap you would like me to use or what I should use, go ahead and let me know because I'm still learning about it. Uh, most of the time I know they use uh, 0 0.15s, 0.22s, or the 0.1. So just to reiterate, we have a 0 0.015, 0 0.068, 0 0.056, and a 0.1, and then we have the 0 0.047. So we're gonna have to use, I'm gonna use one of those for sure. We're gonna try some tropical fish. I bought them to try. Why not try them now? Give them a shot and see how they work. So there we go next video we're going to have to solder some wire on there I got plenty I'm 25 feet of the pushback 30 feet of the cloth and a whole bunch of extra so next video we're going to go ahead and start soldering that up and get the caps onto the on the pots and the ground wire wire on the 
input jack and the three-way switch. And then once we get that buttoned up, depending on how long that video is, we may or may not start installing it in the guitar. So stay tuned. Uh, gold top build is well on the way.